Today I'm sharing some chair yoga that boosts your energy level. I'm Carmen Cooper, by the way, if you haven't been here before, let's get started. Grab your trusty yoga strap or whatever you have around the house, a dishcloth, a bandana, a sock, whatever to make your reach a little bit longer. For Dhammakasana, it's a shoulder stretch. Bring one hand over your shoulder. Reach around with the opposite hand. If you can't reach your fingertips, you can take your strap and bridge that distance like this. And you can work your way up the strap for more stretch or down the strap for less stretch. This is great for your shoulders. Let's hold this and enjoy the stretch in the shoulder. I feel some stretching in the back muscles too. Breathe normally. And we'll hang here for a little bit longer and then we'll switch to the opposite side. Now let's switch. Switch your strap. Bring the opposite hand over the opposite shoulder and then use your strap to bridge the distance get a good stretch in your shoulder and upper back Feels really good. And release. Now let's do a cat cow to maintain the flexibility of our spine. As we exhale, we're going to drop the head and round the spine. As we inhale, we're going to arch the back and raise the head. Exhale. Inhale, open it up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last time. Exhaling. Inhaling. Oh, that feels really good. I'm using a stool instead of my yoga chair because my yoga chair pops and squeaks when I move around in it. You can use any chair with no wheels and no arms or your trusty stool like I'm using today. For a side bend, let's inhale one arm up next to your ear. As you exhale, side bend. You can let that other arm hang at your side or you could even bring it across in front. You can look down, you can look at the opposite wall, you can turn and look up at your arm. I like to look down. Let's 
inhale the arm back up and I like to flutter my hand down like a falling leaf maintain the flexibility of my wrist other side inhale the other arm up next to your ear and then exhaling side bend you can let the arm hang at your side or you can drape it across the front oh it feels so good there's a good stretch going all the way down the side of your torso again you can look down opposite wall up at your arm I like to look down the choice is yours inhale as you come back up flutter that arm that hand as you gradually bring your arm down helps maintain the flexibility of your wrist plus it just looks elegant and it's fun yoga is fun as well as being good for your health this one I'm going to turn away so that it won't be so loud hopefully on my mic this I use if I'm feeling a little blue and I want to raise my spirits it's a moving meditation called Hada Hada you bring your arms around in full circles about six times Hada 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 I've noticed when we do that one in yoga class when we finish everyone is smiling so that's a fun one all right let's do a chest expander real good for your shoulders and your upper back you to turn sideways interlace your hands behind you raise the arms a little bit and only if you want to you can fall forward or not you can just stay like this it brings you into a bit of a back bend it opens up your chest makes your upper back and shoulders feel really good releases tension in your shoulders if you've been staring at a computer screen too long that's a real good one to do let's do a seated twist if you can take one hand outside the opposite knee inhale extend your spine up get really tall before you twist and then exhale and twist you can hold on to the back of your chair if you like some people like to turn back to the front and then go back several times others prefer just to hold the twist the choice is yours and release same thing other side other hand outside the other knee extend your full height get really tall and then exhale and twist hold on to your chair if you want to use that as leverage And 
and release whenever you're ready. Let's do an easy forward fold. I like to move my spine in all directions every day. Helps maintain flexibility and mobility. So, let's inhale, get tall. I like to splay my legs apart for a seated forward fold. Then I inhale, get tall. I'm going to hang out in this forward fold for a while. If I am staying down too long for you, feel free to come up at any time. As you exhale, fold forward. Inhale as you come up. Well, I know my energy has been boosted from doing these poses in my chair. I hope yours has too. I hope you'll hit like and subscribe. Hang out, watch my YouTube channel. Go ahead and binge on some videos. I've got chair videos, beginner videos, intermediate videos, all kinds of videos. You see something you like, drop me a comment and let me know. Maybe I'll do more of that kind of thing. Drop me a comment even if you don't like what you see here. and Tell me how you think I can improve. Let me send you some love, light, and laughter. Scoop it all up. Pull it down. Keep it with you. Namaste.